Oh, hi. Tell me something good. Ooh, this is cute. Compatibility. Okay, so in life, I think that there's all sorts of things um, that we are compatible for and all sorts of things that we are not compatible for. Like, I think we can be talking compatibility. Hey, baby. Um, like, first of all, just like finding people and friends that have like similar interests and like values and like morals as you and like like to do like the same kind of things and are kind of just like on the same like wavelength like i've gone through quite a few um weirdnesses you know what i'm just like a i belong everywhere and nowhere i love everyone but hate everyone all at the same time not really but and then could be um everything and nothing all at the same time but like here's here's my thing I also think it takes a little while like with friends or like anybody for them to with me that this is this is who you get all all the time you know what I mean I don't have to censor myself I don't freaking barely anything like maybe sometimes I should censor myself a little bit more Lenny those are not for you come here bro come here cutie bae come on cutie bae um, like, I feel like so many people are trying so hard to be something that they either want to be or think that they are or whatever. And like, I just kind of like just, I, I let people do their thing and I let, let the whatever run its course of this or that. Now, like, compatibility, like on like a relationship, excuse me, I shouldn't even be yawning. Uh oh. Like compatibility on a relationship level. Like it's going to be extremely difficult. No, maybe not. Maybe that's why it's difficult. No, it's I am a very complex individual and I have a lot going on and it's pretty hard for me to find anybody that can even keep up with me barely at all plus I like dog children and most people of my age have real children and it's really hard for me to wrap my head around being in a relationship now if they have adult children that's maybe fine but I, I don't I don't know I, I kind of don't know like Plus, I also feel like I'm attracted to humans on more of a um, sapio, what is it? Sapio whatever level. But also, I think me and Lenny are really, I think me and Lenny are very compatible. Um, just like I think Penny, here she is. Can everyone see her? What's she up to? You guys see her? Um, Lenny and Penny are very compatible as um, dog besties. And they are brother and sister. But um, there's so many factors that go into it. You know what I mean? I am not a religious person. Um, I'm very, very spiritual. I am not a political person. Even though like, I care so much about like humanity and like everyone so much um but like compatibility like honestly more than anything it's like do you feel good when you're either at this place doing this thing with these people any of this any of this any of this okay like any more too i don't drink alcohol anymore I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. 
I'm doing so good on that, by the way. I did have a small slip up not too long ago, but also, once again, I was hanging out with some people that I probably shouldn't have been hanging out with, and I was slipping up because I was around that. And when it's me on my own terms, like, I don't, I don't need to do that kind of stuff. Like, I'm very easily um, kind of um, sucked into people's you know, everything, everything pretty much. But now here's what I know. I know that I am my favoritest, most favoritest, adorablest, cutest person on the planet. So what I've been trying to do is I've been trying to um, turn myself into a person that I would be like, oh my gosh, that person is so freaking cool. She's so adorable, she's so cute, she's so lovable, she's so talented, she's so smart, she's so hardworking, she's so freaking precious, she's so nice, she's so kind, she's so helpful, she's so open-minded, she's such a good listener, she's, her, her kindness level exudes She's so wonderful. She's just so funny. What do you think, Lenny? Do you think all those things are true? And I'm so grateful to be me. I just live in a gratitude, an attitude of gratitude bubble. And we are surrounded, me and Lenny and Penny are surrounded with a bubble of love. And it's just the greatest time It is. It's the greatest time around here. So honestly, it's gonna take, we'll, we'll see. I, here's the thing. I also really love music and art and gardening and nature and the planet and doing stuff around the house. I'm very, very organized. I'm very, very clean. Um, I kind of do like sleeping in my own bed. We'll see, we'll see what happens. I'm not gonna get too ahead of myself. Um, I believe that anything is possible and I think that everything will um, find me in its right timing when I become a vibrational match to my match. And maybe they're vibrationally whatever too. Okay, is that it? Answer it. <laughs>